Now, your Central Coast forecast from KSBW Weather. Good morning, everybody. Very, very foggy start to the day. This is from Salinas Valley Health. We have a sky cam up there, and you can't really see a lot from this shot, can you? Because Salinas is super foggy. However, if you jump over to Santa Cruz, you have you know, you have those clouds, maybe a little bit of fog, but you are seeing the blue skies around the region. Now, the other side of the bay, Monterey from the Embassy Suites, you can't really tell where this camera is pointed because it is so foggy. This is actually pointed at that hotel that should be right here, but you can't see anything just because of how densely foggy it is this morning. One of the foggier days that I've actually seen since I've been doing this job. And really, in recent memory, we've had some foggy days, but it is pretty foggy to start off today. 53 degrees is the temperature right now. That humidity is 96%. Temperature-wise across the region, nothing too shocking. Some areas already breaking into the 60s, Soledad at 57. So you have some minor hot spots, but they're only about one or two degrees warmer than you, what you would usually expect. Now, the 12 hour forecast is actually pretty interesting today. So let's break it down. Our inland communities are targeting 80s, possibly into the 90s, depending on where you are. Our coastal communities are looking at a pretty average day, maybe a couple of degrees warmer than usual, but it super depends on where you are. As mentioned, our inland communities, mostly sunny conditions, really sun will be the name of the game, but Depending on where you are, your day is going to be pretty dramatically different. That's not too shocking, but let's look at the microcast to truly understand what I mean. We're looking at earlier clearing than usual on the Monterey Peninsula. So yesterday, Monterey reached 70 degrees. They don't usually reach 70 degrees. And they reached 70 degrees in part because the entire region is warmer than usual and because the clouds broke early. If the clouds break earlier, then Monterey has a better shot of warming up. The rest of the Central Coast is almost always going to see those clear skies at some point in the day, but it's not a guarantee for the peninsula. However, for yesterday, the day before, and it's looking like today as well, Monterey is going to get a shot and earlier clearing than usual, which is going to pave the way for warmer conditions than usual. On the coast and in Salinas, we're looking at 60 all the way up to 78. However, it could be significantly warmer than that given when the clouds break. If they break earlier than how than what they've been doing the past couple of days, we are looking at a noon clearing as opposed to an afternoon clearing. Now our inland communities, they're running hot. They've been running hot for the past week or so. Not super hot, 80s to 90s is not shocking for this time of year. In fact, it's fairly common, but it is above average. So it's slightly warmer. And there's this afternoon breeze that's been at play really for the past couple of days. So it's going to be an offshore breeze, or excuse me, an onshore breeze. It's coming from the ocean across inland. And that really will pick up speed throughout the day. 10 miles per hour, all the way up to 25 miles per hour with gusts, depending on where you are, very fast, possibly breaking into the 30 miles per hour. Now there's no wind warning, but still something to keep in mind if you're driving down through the Salinas Valley or if you're living there, just maybe keep a better hold of that steering wheel as those gas can really catch you when you're not expecting it. Forecast lows tonight, nothing too shocking on this end, right? 53s, we basically see 53s every day of the summer. The lows tonight are about standard for what you would expect. In terms of highs though, we are looking at very similar conditions to what we saw yesterday. So what that translates to is 73 up in Oakland. San Francisco, though, is breaking into the, the upper 60s. That raises to the mid 80s by the time you reach San Jose and possibly breaking to the 90s, pushing 90s for Los Gatos. The Santa Cruz Mountains in general will reach the 90s. 91 up in Boulder Creek. Now it's going to be cooler on the immediate coastline in Santa Cruz obviously, but it's still going to be mid to upper 70s. It would not be a surprise if they broke into the 80s in Santa Cruz, but Capitol and Aptos are pretty soundly going to be in the lower 70s. For Prunedale today, we're looking at 70 degrees. That goes up to 80 degrees by the time you reach San Juan Bautista and 86 degrees by the time you reach Hollister. And the hottest region is going to be the Gilroy Morgan Hill area mid or lower 90s, 92 degrees. 89 expected to be the high in King City. Still very hot, but it's going to cool down to about 70 by the time you reach Salinas. And then the, on the immediate coastline of Monterey, 
keeping cool, keeping those lower 60s, but those numbers will go up if that noon clearing breaks, those clouds break earlier than expected. Take a look at that eight day forecast. Now what you see is a lot of consistently, consistency on the forecast. Uh, not a huge range here. Mostly sunny, partly cloudy conditions, and then consistent temperatures across the region. If you take a look at the inland high temperatures, you see a little bit more diversity in temperature, but really bouncing around areas of the lower 90s to upper 80s.